While everyone was talking about electric cars from Tesla, BYD, and Toyota, Hyundai made a splash that no one had imagined, the Creta EV. Yes, the same Creta you've seen with petrol and diesel engines is now returning in its new electric form, but remember, this won't be an ordinary EV. Imagine a car that offers luxury, saves money, and is better for the environment. Would you pass it up? Probably not. According to reports, Hyundai has used the same battery platform that's already been tested in international models, meaning both performance and safety will be top-notch, and that's why everyone in the auto industry is talking about this car right now. But the real question is, what battery technology has Hyundai used in it, and why is this car shaking up the entire EV market? The third reason is India's EV boom. India is actually the world's third largest automobile market, and the government is really pushing EVs through schemes like Fame 2, tax relief, and a rapidly expanding charging network. All of these things present a major opportunity for Hyundai. It knows that whoever wins India's EV market basically captures Asia's largest market. One more thing, Hyundai has always been known for its timing. It tends to catch trends, but only when the market is actually ready. It first conquered the SUV segment with the Creta, and now it's about to repeat history by launching the same brand in an electric avatar. So battery technology is where the game really changes. The true strength of any electric car isn't actually its motor, it's the battery. And this is where Hyundai has made a move that's really disrupted the entire EV market. Right now, there are two main battery technologies in use. LFP, which stands for lithium iron phosphate, and NMC, that's nickel manganese cobalt. Both of these have their own set of advantages and disadvantages. LFP batteries are cheaper, more durable, and pretty resistant to overheating and NMC batteries, on the other hand, offer higher energy density, which basically means more power in less space and that increases the vehicle's range. Now, the question arises, which technology did Hyundai adopt for the Creta EV? According to reports, Hyundai has used LG Chem's NMC high-density battery, which has already been tested in the Ionic 5 and Kona EV. This is the same battery known for its performance and safety in many international markets. These cells are not only lightweight but also quite powerful, meaning the car can run approximately 450 to 500 kilometers on a single full charge. That eliminates daily charging and makes long-distance journeys no longer a problem. But the story doesn't end there. Hyundai has focused not only on range, but also on charging speed with the Creta EV. A lot of people believe that the biggest issue with electric vehicles is battery life, but actually, Hyundai claims that the Creta EV's battery can comfortably last anywhere from 8 to 10 years, or roughly 200,000 kilometers. And to make customers feel even more confident, the company is planning to offer an 8-year warranty. Now, don't think Hyundai is just relying on imported batteries. The company is, in fact, slowly preparing for local production right here in India. According to reports, Hyundai, together with its South Korean battery partner LG Energy Solution, is looking to set up an EV battery assembly plant in India. This move should help reduce battery costs and make vehicles like the Creta EV more affordable for everyone. Oh, and here's something pretty interesting. The Hyundai Creta EV's battery actually supports vehicle-to-load or V2L functionality. Basically, this means if you're out on a road trip, you can use the car's battery to charge your laptop, a coffee machine, or even another electric bike. So it's not just a vehicle. It sort of becomes a mobile power bank too. Because when a mid-range SUV offers a 500-kilometer range, charges in 30 minutes, and runs flawlessly for 10 years, believe me, the game has truly changed. The unveiling of the latest Hyundai is a masterclass in evolutionary design, a careful dance between honoring a legacy and boldly stepping into the future. The philosophy can be best described as the same identity, but with a completely new heart. This isn't a simple facelift or timid refresh. It's a thoughtful recalibration of a beloved formula, ensuring it feels both comfortingly familiar and excitingly new. 
From a distance the silhouette that greets you is unmistakably Kreta, Hyundai has wisely retained the fundamental proportions and assertive stance that have made this SUV so recognizable and dear to its legion of owners. The strong shoulder line, the confident posture, and the overall footprint are all present and correct, offering an immediate sense of continuity. It's the familiar face in a crowd that you're always happy to see. Now, as you draw closer, the narrative begins to shift. The devil, as they say, is in the details, and it's right here that the new heart begins to reveal itself. Hyundai's designers have really performed a delicate operation here, infusing every corner with a subtle, yet unmistakable, electric touch. The once purely functional grille has been reimagined, maybe it's now a seamless panel with intricate pixel-like patterns hidden within, or perhaps flanked by new lighting signatures that feel more like sophisticated electronics than simple bulbs. The headlights and taillights, key elements of any car's character, have been meticulously redesigned. They might feature complex multi-layer LED arrangements that create a sharp digital glow, making the vehicle look awake and intelligent even when stationary. And those new alloy wheel designs, with their intricate, almost aerodynamic spokes, further hint at the advanced technology pulsing within, replacing heavier, more traditional patterns with something lighter and more futuristic. These are not changes for the sake of change. Each adjustment is a thoughtful stroke on the canvas. The goal was clear, to make the Krita feel futuristic without becoming alien. The creases on the body might be sharper, the surfaces more sculpted, and the lighting elements more complex. Yet, they all work in harmony to preserve the model's old charm. It's the automotive equivalent of a cherished heirloom watch being fitted with a state-of-the-art mechanical movement. The soul remains, but the performance is transformed for a new era. This careful balancing act results in a vehicle that feels like it has one foot firmly planted in the heritage that built its success, and the other confidently stepping into the next generation of automotive design. It's a design that respects your memory of the Krita you loved, while simultaneously inviting you to discover the thoroughly modern, re-energized spirit that now defines it. The story of the battery is not just about technology. It's the story of humanity's determination and journey to capture energy. It's really a tale of relentless pursuit and innovation, starting from the moment when we first thought of capturing electricity. Battery technology has come a long way. Once we saw electricity only in flashes of lightning or thunderstorms, just a mysterious force of nature, but then came the turning point when humans started thinking, could it be carried with us? That was really a pivotal moment that changed everything. It was here that, in 1800, Italian scientist Alessandro Volta created an amazing thing, the voltaic pile, made of discs of copper and zinc and pieces of cloth soaked in salt water. This was the first real battery that captured electricity in human hands for the first time. Although it didn't last long, it opened a door. This really created a stir in the world of science. Scientists like Humphrey Davy and John Frederick Daniel worked toward making it stronger, more durable, and more stable. In 1836, the Daniel cell, made of sulfuric acid and zinc, was actually the first to deliver a constant current. But honestly, the real revolution came in 1866 when Georges Leclanché of France created the